Hello everybody, this is Abraham with Northshore Computer Services. What we got today is an HP. It's a fairly recent model and it is, let's see if I could get a model from here. I don't know, can't see it. I love to put tiny, tiny, tiny letters. Uh, 15 CR0055OD. Okay, so it's an HP model 15, whatever that means. It's a yoga type computer where you can fold it into um, a tablet. And the problem with this is the hinge. So this hinge broke. Uh, to open this computer, you need um, a case opener or a guitar pick, and you need to slide it along this side, the top side, and this side. Now, there is a little bit of adhesive tape behind here and here. I'll show you. So the top comes out once you uh, uh, crack the hinges, so to speak. And you will need to maybe warm up or just carefully peel it off. This is the tape I'm talking about. Uh, there is tape on this side and there is tape on this side. And uh, believe it or not, that does provide structural stability to the computer. But tape cannot last very long, so tape fails and then... Uh, cascadely the hinges fail in this case this plastic piece it sits behind the hinge like that and it was held in place by just a tiny bit of epoxy or some kind of glue laughable this is just this this is what holds your top section to the metal hinge we're gonna fix that and this goes down a bit and it broke uh, we're gonna put the hinge back in all right so hinges in place more or less and we're gonna use these types of screws you can see that the head on a screw is V-shaped and uh, the normal screw that held everything in place is like this with a very big top but I can't find screws like this with a much longer um, thread so I need thread, thread to be this long and this is all that I, uh, that I have these are very specialized screws. You're not going to find them unless you look in China. I don't have time to get it from China. So I found these at the local Ace Hardware store. They're tiny. They're a slightly different uh, uh, thread than the ones that I need, but they do work. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use a washer that is slightly oversized. What allows What it allows me to do is drop that screw almost flush with the washer. As you can see, what I did was I created this type of screw. Okay, and the reason that it has to be this way is there is just no space uh, behind that uh, display, behind the LCD, to put a normal screw with a nut like this, some like this. So this was my original idea, but as you can see, it sticks out too much. This one, was, once it's in place, does not stick out, and it allows me to reassemble the computer as it should be. Uh, I'm drilling holes just right through the plastic case. It would be nice if it was metal, uh, but plastic, uh, that's all I have to deal with, that I have to work with. All right. I'm gonna put the screw where it belongs. 
And as long as I'm working, I got the computer apart, I will do both sides, the left and the right. The one that failed and the one that didn't. Okay. That holds tight and that already allows me to move the hinge as it should work. And I will show you that on the other side we have the screw protruding, which is what I really want. I already talked to the owner and said this is not going to look pretty but it will work. What we're going to do on here is we're going to put another washer and a nut. And then I can either put a little bit of paint, I mean I'll, I'll sand it down so it's smooth, then I'll put a little bit of paint or uh, rubber uh, like foot on it and that'll, that'll keep it from scratching everybody. But that's a little bit ahead. All right, now that we have at least one holding in place, as you can see, the system starts working. We're gonna drill the other holes. Clean it up a bit. And we will put the rest of the screws in. Um, my original idea was to use, like I said, different screws. Um, and I thought I would just shave the head of the screw to make it uh, smaller. But I can't shave it completely off because then it's not going to be able to hold the washer in place. So that idea was quite uh, difficult to implement and possibly wouldn't have worked. Uh, the plastic on here is relatively thick. I'm putting in the screw and it's actually really, really tight. But I still don't trust the plastic. We're going to do the proper repair on this machine. Okay. Two uh, great. Whenever my thing falls down, I heard it, but I can't find it. Okay, I'll find it later. I got some more washers. Uh, the other thing that could be done is the washers can be pre-drilled with uh, slightly bigger um, drill bit and uh, then you can really countersink these screws uh, flush with the washer but I figured that will reduce the uh, strength, structural strength of this uh, system I figured this is good and it will hide behind um, the screen I blame Apple. I always blame Apple. They were the ones who came up with an idea. Maybe they weren't the ones, but they're the ones that really came up with an idea of uh, gluing everything together. All right, so three screws replaced with three uh, much, much longer screws that go right through the system and we can put uh, the nuts on the other side. And these screws really go in tight. I like that. Feels really, really good. Okay, we got six nuts. I'm gonna get one more washer. I would have had enough, but one got ran away from me. I may have to find it later because I want to put washers on the other side. The other side actually could have smaller washers. I do have Let's see, I have two 
three, four of them. And uh, I'll probably use the smaller ones. All right. This is tight. Okay, so at this point, the job is basically done. The thing works. We just have the screws sticking out, and that's not nice. We'll have to fix that. Uh, as people were using the computer, uh, the bottom came out, the hole. I mean, if you're watching this video, most likely you have the same problem. Uh, this plastic came off from the glass. Thankfully, the glass didn't crack, so I'm going to have to put some tape, double-sided tape beneath here to reattach it back. I'm going to have to remove this tape and put new tape on. And uh, before I do that, I have to make sure that the nuts are properly secured. Let me get some tape. Let me get some uh, tools. I'll be back. For this job, I'm going to be using this strong double-sided 3M tape. Um, I had good luck with this. It does not uh, deteriorate after time. Just going to scrape off the tape. that's in in there and uh, all right we're going to apply new tape And the same thing on this side. That's good, that's ready. Now we need to apply a little bit of tape under this place here. And it is cracked, so we don't have to do anything special. I'm just going to lift it a little bit with something. Let's see. I guess we can use that. And uh, you got to be careful. There is wires here. There is conduits here. By the way, this wire can already be placed uh, in its location. And this wire has been pinched, as people who used the computer thought. Oh, this just popped out. Let me just put, pop this back in. Nope, it doesn't pop back in it is a broken hinge all right okay so antenna wire is proper then we're gonna put um, some tape here I wonder how I'm going to do that You know, this tape thing is just garbage. Just pure garbage. And not my tape. 
but just the idea of using tape is stupid. You can use tape to attach slides to something or pictures on the wall. Huh. A bug. Come on, bug. Holy cow. That bug is tough. Some kind of flea or something? Can't squish it, can't smush it. Okay. That bug was tough. It was actually a live bug that jumped out from <laughs> from here. I hope it's not something that would multiply in my office. I don't need bugs. Okay. I should probably just break off this piece of plastic and attach it properly because sticking a tape in there is not easy. Okay. Uh, just gotta peel the top of the tape off. Alright, as good as good as it's gonna get. This piece here is not doing any hard work, I hope. Alright, now we need to put the nuts and tighten this situation properly. Let's put a washer, put a nut. I will give you a close-up of what it looks like. <coughs> Big pliers. Oh, that's tight. This is good. Alright, the other one. I actually don't need any washers really here. I could just jam that right into the plastic. But I am being thorough. I'm an engineer. I'm not an artist. Not that I have anything against artists, but Steve Jobs was an artist. He was creating a work of art and as most works of art the engineering part on the work of art is usually struggling i have seen art sculptures and i've looked underneath how they're held together and it's a nightmare nightmare in there all right let's get we'll just put washers on the out, outer nuts. Yeah, that'd be good. So just the outer ones, they will be holding things really well. The middle one is there just because. Didn't even have to put it in. Okay, so you can do away with just two, not three. That is a side note. Okay. Okay, tighten, tight, tight, 
tight. Sorry. Tight. Something is not right with this nut. It is just wobbling. Uh, of course. All right. I think that one is not a good nut. Put a good one on. does not want to cooperate. By the way, tightening on this side untightens it on the other side. So like this one here that doesn't want to cooperate, I gotta hold it from both sides. It does happen even on these tiny screws. They do not want to cooperate sometimes. Alright. That's tight. Okay. And the last one. Is tight. Okay. Now this um, cover is going to work. But we're not done yet. These are sticking out too much. So we're going to use a grinding wheel and we're just going to grind down the ones that are sticking too far out well they're all sticking too far out here is a problem as you grind the thing will get warm so you cannot grind it too much you can melt the plastic Okay, I'll shave it off. The screws aren't actually made of metal. I just saw they're... Oh, shoot. Oh, well. I should say they're not made of steel, they're made of copper. I didn't put a washer in, now this screw is actually touching the uh, case, so if somebody is going to be doing that, put a washer. Okay, very smooth. Okay, I mean there are screws over there, but they're not catchy, and uh, yeah, they work. Okay, get this cut. amazing how much difference the washer makes there I melted it a little bit
Okay. I wish it was prettier, but hey, functionality here is more important than pretty. Okay, just cleaned up the place a little bit. As we can see, it works fine now. Let's peel these backs. And let's see how it's going to go back together. There are no screws here. It's all press fit and tape. Okay. So the important thing is, oh, I left some tape hanging out. I need to cut that off because that's sticky. We don't want any sticky business. I, um, when I was putting it on, I thought that this whole thing was going to be hidden under. This tape is a little tough, so it doesn't want to get cut. Get a, let's see, I'm going to pull the knives out. use the blade. Alright. Come on, tape, cooperate. Alright, peeled off. And now it's not sticky anymore. Let's reassemble. My main concern was that the screw heads would stick out too much, but they are not. My idea with the countersink screws and the uh, heads worked. Well, let's push this in. Push it to get it attached to that tape behind, and voila, it works. This was coming out as crazy as you can imagine. Um, the fix that I have is still going into a plastic cover. Unfortunately, Plastic is plastic and eventually it will wiggle itself. Plastic will never win against metal um, unless it's specialized plastic. Uh, this is re-engineering the engineering that was done on this computer and many like it is horrible. It's specifically designed to planned obsolescence, to fail, to break and um, I'm not, not happy with engineering like that. This is as good as it's going to get. Hopefully this helps somebody save a few bucks. Uh, on top of the fact that you have to buy a new case, which will be a crap again, uh, you will not fix the problem. The problem within the new case is also going to be present. Now these screws are not cheap. They're about a dollar per set. So a few dollars there. Um, but it's still cheaper and much faster than uh, ordering a part that is going to be crappy and when you replace it you have to uh, work with the cables and uh, do actually a much bigger job than, uh, than what I've done here. Uh, I gotta paint those screws, I gotta make it look a little nicer but uh, 
The final product is right here. There's a little smiley face right there. So the eyes, nose, and the mouth. If you like the fix, if you don't care for how it looks, but rather have the functionality of the computer, give me likes. If you'd rather have the art piece, go buy yourself a Mac and that one will treat you just right. They break just the same, but they cost 10 times more. Good luck and save money as always.